It has ability basically that scales with winning. When attacked, Vengeance Knight has a 15% counterattack to gain some life steal. But if she survives and wins the battle, she'll gain permanent bonus damage. She's so tanky with these items. Wow, this is exactly what I did last time. I just farmed her and she carried so hard. She's so... Because she's got basically life steal that's now scaled. Uh-oh, she might die to that ability. Uh-oh. No, she got, she got more healing. Yes. Positioned in an awkward way, but once Avenged Knight gets in there, it just starts wrecking people. <laughs> She's up to 160. Wow. Hey, buddy, watch this. Hey, folks. Today we're going to play some auto chess. And I'd like to thank Epic Games for sponsoring this video because I actually have a really long history with auto chess. This one comes from Drodo, who is really the creator of the auto battler auto chess genre that's really still a big part of the strategy game market these days and there's some period when uh that original version verse first came out that i lost like two to three days just playing it like non-stop you could probably find some gap somewhere in my youtube channel where there's a couple days of no videos it's thanks to drodo and auto chess and uh i certainly spent a lot of time with the original version and with this updated dedicated version i've had on my phone since day one when it first released. So really excited uh, to jump back in and take another look. That said, uh, you can get this game right now for free on the Epic Games Store. Check the description down there for a link, the pinned comment too, and uh, you can get started with Auto Chess right now, free to play, and uh, really experience the original Auto Chess or Auto Battler experience. I also want to know that dude, that dude right there, looks a lot like me if I had sunglasses on. So uh, maybe I'm even featured in this game. All right, so headset on. We're jumping into a match here. Now, I have to say, I, I prepared a few, like I practiced a few times um, in preparation for this. In one of my practice ranked games, I went undefeated. I didn't lose a single round. So I'm a little bit distraught that I wasn't recording that one uh, in particular. So I'm a little bit familiar uh, with, There's an arrow with your the um, controls and you know various aspects of auto chess. Certainly from the old days, a lot of things uh, still very familiar, just a little updated and different. Uh, that said, I don't know current meta or builds or really even the um, the various uh, character groups, whether that's uh, class or or otherwise. So I'm still learning a lot, but we'll um, we'll certainly be able to get by. I, <laughs> I know at least one carry build with the Avenger unit that went really nuts. Uh, let's just go here. Um, okay, so we have a undead hunter as i would call them again i don't know all the official names no um need reinforcement oh whoops no uh tier two units yet i guess so yeah I'm, like i said i'm not an expert here at all we're still kind of figuring things out a little bit but i think we'll get by hopefully you know i'm being matched against people who are similarly new in this experience so this is the source, the support character, restores 12 mana. Oh, okay, so I unfortunately am using that here with a character who does not have a mana-based ability. So that's a little bit uh, of an unfortunate reality. Okay, here's a combinable item. Let's take that and see how that goes. Let's see. Combine? Sure. I don't know if this is any good, but let's do it anyway. Uh, okay, we got another one of these. Fight first. The Goddess now of Light. I don't know this character at all. Let's see what this is about. Sun. Let's go ahead and put her in. She have a mana base ability. Hope imprisons one enemy piece for five seconds, disarms them, and reduces their magic resistance by twenty. But immune to physical damage. Okay, so probably not good with our um, with our hunter base character here, who's dealing physical damage. It seems. But again, we're just figuring things out. Right now, we're just fighting against AI characters anyway, so it doesn't really matter much. It'll be okay. And there was the imprison effect we saw. These are usually just given give me matches you win every time. So no biggie. We'll start pulling this together soon. We've got a triple opportunity here already, which is nice. Yeah, and if you don't I guess if you don't know the auto battler genre genre in general, uh, that was a hard phrase to say. It's all about assembling your team and, and upgrading them, leveling them up. And in my sight. Managing your economy a little bit. Lava is howling. I don't know if there's a two hunter bonus, but this also looks more like a frontline character than the others. A disabler with lava swirl. So I'm in a lava swirl with radius of one and a half grit. It sounds awesome. I'll probably move these hunters back further, by the way. They, they don't likely need to be 
nearly so up front. Uh, there is a hunter bonus at three, it looks like. I also have shaman, undead, cave clan, and dwarf synergies potential. That is a tier two unit. That is going to be tough to beat. Oh, but he did get his ability off. Uh, he might get another one off too. He, oh, no! <laughs> no, so close. Oh, man. I think if I'd position those hunters better, we probably wouldn't have been a good spot. So here's another red clan person. Um, and here's another Where's archer. So that's always that's three archers. Okay, hold up. Uh, I need to upgrade, but I'm not ready yet. Uh, I only have four out of four slots. So let's just put in these because they seem a little tankier. Oh, let's move these back as we decided. So I can actually probably sell these and upgrade if I were super competent and had plenty of time. I'm sure that's something I would do better. And again, if you're somebody who's playing auto chess regularly, please, God, don't judge me. <laughs> I'm still learning. Oh, man, they have five units and two tier two units already? That's crazy. Oh, we're not even going to be close here. Also, multiple... It's a hunter guy. Can we kill him to save some health? No. Shoot. Can't kill this either, probably. Yikes. Super defeated. Wow. That's okay. Ooh, another swordman. Another goddess of light, but do we really need that? I mean, Spend it is a double. Slice and sweat. I definitely want to sense. tear up. And uh, the rule of evil. How much will I have? Three? Let's tear up to get that other hunter in. So now we have both um, red clan, cave clan synergy, which is giving us XP and uh, allied hunters gain extra attack as well. What does this item do? 15 attack and 350 HP. Increases magic resistance 100. So this might be something that's a little better to put on like a tanky character. Um, increase their survivability in the front line a little more. Ooh, that ability is so good. A lot of these characters are very reminiscent of the same characters um, from the original version here, which is nice. So some familiarity, certainly, which is cool. So triple hunters there helped us a lot. Like to triple her out soon. Can probably ditch this, although it is a double again. So maybe we'll have to think about it. Oh, well, it looks like we got a triple and a triple. I have a bad feeling about this. Unbelievable. Uh, we can't get to ten gold for any sort of economy bonus. I'm assuming that's still a thing. But um, this guy is now strong with a carry item. Um, she seems cool. She's a shaman, so that's another angle we could take. Feathered. Undead seems good. That used to be a great combination with hunters, I remember, way back in the day. Uh, this we don't have anything for, really. It's only four gold, so there's no reason to sell it yet. When this gets to four out of eight for the XP, we can probably level up there again. Yeah, my tier two hunter's doing a mountain of damage. This thing's gonna go nuts, though, as soon as he gets a spin off, if there's any... Oh, well. Not enough stuff left. Okay. Two win streaks. Let's go. We have 92 health. Our opponents are, you know, varied, but nobody's really that low yet, except the guy we just murdered, who seemed um, pretty weak, I have to say. We, we didn't lose a single unit, so that's always frightening. We're in the battle phase here. Ooh, a second Lava Shaman. I, I think we could take that. We also have a Warrior here. Warriors get good at three. Shaman get good at two, so that's definitely something to keep an husband, eye on. Two kids, I don't think I roll yet, but I am going to sell hammers. these to get to 10 gold to um, encourage some economy bonus because you get interest if you're at 10 plus gold, 20, you get two interest, etc. Basically, if you're over a threshold of 10, that break point, you get one interest in gold, which is always nice. So, so um, yeah, I think we're in a better position now. I think we'll win a few fights here. This guy it seems like he's going to be really, really strong with his spin effect. Just jumping in the back line and murdering these. Although we may not even need it, it looks like. We're just demolishing. There he goes. This is called the Shining Archer. What is her ability? 50 to 500 magical damage. The longer the distance, the greater the damage. Oh, okay, that's cool. This is still just base attack buffs. Uh, this is another big snipe kind of blow up ability. So once these... Uh, actually, these might be good with the source. Uh, increasing their mana. Because those seem like really power spiky abilities that uh, would benefit from going off. Yeah. So here we're at 4 out of 8, so we'll upgrade here. We got Skull Hunter, who's a frontline hunter. That's cool. Let the hunt begin. Missile Crawler, I doubt we need. We can roll once here. I don't know if there's anything we'd buy. Oh, we could take a source. Increase the mana on trick? these. This is Red Clan, though, and Hunter. So maybe we take her out and then put the source in here. Um, 
This is da the distance space, right? So, okay. So we didn't lose any, we didn't, I keep saying red clan, cave clan. Cave clan buff on both of these, but also he gets a boost um, for hunters soon, I guess. Yeah, he does get more powerful because this buffs all hunters. So he's definitely the right unit to have in there. And again, this guy's, <laughs> you can see his DPS off the charts when his spin goes off. That was amazing. Okay, four win streak. Man, we're doing pretty good, I gotta say. Feeling good with this build. Warrior Hunter is a classic, uh, classic build from, from my day back in the day. So, cannot complain. Ooh, Dragon Knight's always been, oh, this card was nuts when I played it previously. Oh my god, I... I'm thinking I'm about taking a little bit of a pivot. Guys, this card was so strong Maybe when it wins. Lose some weight. It has ability basically that scales with winning. When attacked, Vengeance Knight has a 15% counterattack to gain some lifesteal. But if she survives and wins the battle, she'll gain permanent bonus damage, which is what really scaled. And we're winning fights right now. And I have this kind of pivot slot anyway. So I'm going to toss her in and hope that we continue winning. Uh, particularly because this is an AI fight, which is even better. So we might be able to scale off this pretty crazy. I need to check if my opponents are building knights or not. This is one thing I just don't, haven't had time to get good at yet. Knight, one knight. One knight, maybe. We can't see their full build. These are all my opponents' boards. It's hard to see their builds right now. Is there any way to expedite what they're... Oh, here it shows. Okay, so not a lot of, not a lot of knights floating around, it seems. Yeah, I think we can take this pivot. It's not gonna happen immediately, right? But it's something we'll keep an eye on, basically. There's another sniper. Shoot to kill. Aim to please. I am holding on to a lot of units right now. We're not scaling all that well. Here's another rain another uh, hunter though. Okay, I can buy I'll that without changing this breakpoint, but I don't like how much um gold is on my bench right now. It's making me nervous. Let's take another look and see if there's a lot of knights. One out of two. Uh, one out of two. No knights. Two out of four. Well, we better watch this fight. I don't want to miss our fight here. So our Avenge Knight might just scale really well here. She did die there. Does she have to survive for that effect to go off? I don't know. I better double check that. Oh, I'm not sure we're going to win, though. We're going to lose, I think. My back line got really wrecked right there. I guess this is only a tier one unit, though. Oh, no, I think we're going to be fine. This tier two is gonna survive into this tier one. Oh no, we're dead. No, <laughs> not my scaling. I'm not I just accidentally dead. bought that, which I'm is no big dragon. deal. There's another knight. Man, when do I take the pivot? Knights. Guys, I have so many knights. I, I don't know when the right time to take the pivot is. Um, probably a hot key to do that that I'm not utilizing very well. Um, let's see. If she survives and wins, oh boy. Okay, that's not gonna scale as well as I thought. Uh, my dream comp from the last time that I'm trying to recreate and force here may not pay off because she has to survive. She might survive this fight though. It looks like, yeah, definitely. Okay, so we're scaling her a little. I guess maybe I should put this item on her. It's gonna make me a little weaker, but it is gonna help that scaling. Let's try that. So what's she at already on her buff? Does this tell us? I don't know if there's any way for us to see. Yeah, I don't know. Oh my god, I just keep getting more and more hunters though. My hair looks it's gonna be really... Oh, there was a triple two we lost. Um, I'm thinking about putting in knights instead of this... Uh... See, I got a three knight bonus now. I get weaker though because I'm losing this here. We're just gonna put it all in This was a bit of a Greed line because I'm losing a lot of gold efficiency here, but um, This is a stronger unit than this one. I should be replacing this. I think this is uh, what I used to would have called Medusa I believe and has a really really cool stun ability. So Looks like we're still gonna win. Is Avenge Knight gonna live? She is. Okay, sweet. Oh, I have human bonus too now, so I get um, XP books. I remember this from last time. Okay, so we're still dominating a lot of fights, which is a good sign. But I need to make sure my gold isn't sacrificed too much here. I got kind of greedy. So am I going to be Hunter Knights now? That means I could ditch my warrior to squeeze in another Hunter. He is a tier 2, though, so I'm a little bit nervous doing that. Here's another Knight. And an Undead. 
blades as sharp as a crescent moon. I'm gonna sell this. I'm gonna put in this. Just to get some bonus damage. This is just a tier one knight, so I don't know if this is all that good. Maybe that's something we don't need to hold on to. At the moment, it probably doesn't make a difference, but... So we've got a really sturdy front line thanks to the knight's shield. If I didn't talk about that, knights have shields that kind of help them survive. And then we've got a really high DPS back line with the hunters, so... It seems like a good combo. I need my Avenge Knight to live, though. Okay, she's gonna live. She's not taking any damage. Cool. So she's already scaling. Oh, it sells the number of stacks right there, it looked like. She's got 30 bonus damage. Okay, that seems pretty solid, right? Frost Knight. I am the knight, the Still. Bad knight. Did I decide that she's weak, right? She's a lower tier unit, right? Well, actually, I don't know. I don't remember what her tier was. Okay, I would really like to sell something here that's worth two. I don't know if that was the right sell or not, but... Just to get to 20 gold's a big deal, particularly because this isn't... Oh, this is the backline destroying round. Uh-oh. I might lose this because I positioned poorly. These guys always jump your back line and you need to put your, you kind of need to swap your positioning basically. Ooh, that, that stun from Siren might make all the difference. That might be enough to keep us alive because I think the Knights will be able to finish these off here. Yeah, for sure. Woo, okay, so we kind of got bailed out. <laughs> oh, I gotta equip my items and use my XP. Um, wait, I thought it just offered me to, oh, here we go. Um, 100% mana restoration or just extra attack for our Avenge Knight maybe. Extra life steal for our Avenge Knight? Let's build a carry unit here. Um, I can't see what these are, so I don't know what's best. I'm just gonna grab the one with extra health, I think. Okay, let's just start stacking her up. Um, I, I think I'm gonna try to combine the stuff on her. Uh, Plunge them into how do chaos. I combine items? Let's see, let's use these. Oh goodness, I don't know how to combine items. Here we go, combinable, combine to put on, okay. That should be fine for now. 26 gold, I'm running out of time, guys! Knight, knight, tear him up. Let's go ahead and ditch her to get to, oh we can't get her back. Okay. I really need to tear up my Avenge Knight. Oh my gosh, look at this. She's so tanky. She's so tanky with these items. Wow, this is exactly what I did last time. I just farmed her and she carried so hard. Um, she's so... Because she's got basically lifesteal that's now... Skill uh oh, she might die to that ability. Uh oh. No, she got, she got more healing. Yes. We barely won this fight. Uh, this person is fairly strong though, so... Oh my gosh, Avenge Knight, yes. Prince Perfect, Charming. we need one more. I'm a horseman oh, let's go, <laughs> okay. So now she's tier two, I so she just got way, way stronger. You will live um, let's see if we can't. I still wanna see if there's any combinable stuff. I guess maybe not quite yet. I could ditch a hunter for another knight to get the four knight bonus to increase her survivability even more. Uh, do I want to go to six knights eventually? Yeah, maybe. I don't see why not. I don't know what the right kind of final builds are. There are some some little guides that pop up, kind of like recommended lineups and stuff, but I don't know well enough yet to really map the um, the sort of uh, facial, face thumbnails to the actual characters. Okay, Avenge Knight's doing work. Staying alive, tanking. And she just keeps scaling is what's cool. So I like this a lot with this hunter back line. This is fun. Um, I want to I want to get a little bit stronger. Maybe we're not like totally owning people yet. What am I looking for? She's tier one. She's tier two. Tier two. Tier two. So I need these to upgrade to tier two. Maybe this one to upgrade to tier two. Evil knight. Okay, I don't have one Sorry, yet. Or out of mercy. He seems a little stronger because I can get an undead bonus, right? <sighs> Basically, get an undead bonus here. That's gonna give me, uh, they lose four armor, so we're gonna just melt people a little harder, which is nice. Okay, cool. This is going great. 
Oh, just absolutely dominated that person. Avenge Knight, not the highest DPS. It's still our hunter back here, but uh, she's still putting it on. Okay, so I have this I can put on. Does that become combinable? No way. So now I have two of these. What does this do? 75% chance to block 50 damage while being attacked. I hope that does combine effectively with our knight ability by default. I don't know. It may not. We're going to hang here. Am I ever going to go to six hunter? I don't think so. Maybe four. Maybe some kind of flyer. Let's let's go ahead and use this XP. We're getting close to tearing up. Probably at 20. Maybe I'll go next round anyway. Just to make sure we're continuing to scale and not lose around so that our Avenge Knight goes nuts. Oh, she's just so cool on this horse, man. Look at this. She's up to 80 extra damage. That's wild. Wait, this isn't even equipped. Let's read the Knight ability and see if we can detect that we think you that scales or not. Let's see. Uh, gain a 25% chance to obtain a damage reducing shield which grants 75% magic armor. I, I think that's different. I think block is different than like the reduction of the other one. Here's a hunter and undead. Oh, Ursus, interesting. What? How that might be cool. You. Let's go ahead and... It's a little bit inefficient from a breakpoint standpoint, for sure. I see that, but... Um, it's like, I want her to be in the front carrying, but I also don't want her to die. Neither to survive any fight. Oh, this is AI fight, so this is fine. Oh, this dude unfortunately got into my backline a bit, but it's okay. It's still only life crystal. Uh, I think I like the lifesteal a little bit, but I don't know. This is combinable, so I'm just going to take it. I don't know the items or the item meta in the slightest, but it looked cool. It looked really cool. Combinable, um, sure. Just stack her up with everything, because she's far and away our best unit right now. Uh, okay. This is awesome. We need this. Stay at 40. Could probably ditch these. This These knights seem weak. I have... No, actually, I only have one on the bench that's not... So if I want to go to six, I might need this, huh? Everything... Oh, no, this isn't in. I can get six knights without this, right? Doesn't matter. The bench is fine for now. Okay. So we're definitely the highest health total. Jezwell over here has 85, but less gold than us. So I think we're scaling the best right now both from an economy and power level standpoint. XP books are helping me as well. This is pretty awesome. Oh, I just passed up an evil knight. Whoops. Whispers here said. My order Here's is another. Chaos. Here's another knight. She's, I don't want to lose three hunter. I need one more slot on board, basically. Am I willing to spend down all that gold for it? Probably not quite yet. Let's wait a turn. These hunters seem like they can go, but I don't need to yet. We're at 51, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Avenge Knight is doing so much DPS for a not DPS character, you know? She's got all these, like, sturdy abilities, but she's still topping the DPS charts here above my head. It's crazy. We are just demolishing. Actually, no, this is a little closer. This is a little closer. Not enough, though. Still four units nine win streak right now even if we don't win this i consider this a great success for somebody who's you know still still getting in touch more with this uh frost knight we don't need or i'm gonna go ahead and tear up um so a good break point i mean we're wasting a lot of gold here from an economy standpoint but i basically want to get her in that puts us at six out of six on the knights i think she's a little bit more ranged I don't know about positioning here. I want this guy to get damaged a lot, but I just don't, I don't know what's best anymore. Let's, let's try this. Who knows about positioning, but this seemed fine. Person seems really tanky. I hope I have enough damage. I mean, I think my survivability is so high that it just doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, it seems like it is. They're just not dealing any damage hardly. Uh, yeah, we're just murdering. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, who is this character? Uh, did more DPS than Avenge Knight even. I don't know who it is though. Um, looks like our Golly Knight did a lot there. Wow, I don't know why he did so much. That's crazy though. I love it. Good job, our Golly Knight. 
go ahead and sell this to get back over 50. Now I think we're, are we like kind of done? We're, I mean, we, we definitely want to tier up. I feel like I could replace her. She's just a tier one unit. Actually probably should have done that. I mean, she's, she's leveled up to two, but she's a one cost unit, right? So this triple, this triple, which I think I missed actually. I think we had that in the shop and I missed it. So that may have been a boo boo. Wow, this back line is like positioned in an awkward way, but once Avenge Knight gets in there, it just starts wrecking people. <laughs> she's up to 160. Wow. She's so strong. She's the highest DPS on my team. This is exactly the scenario I had last time. I love it. It's so much fun. Um, okay. So really just, I think, light blade night's cool. We don't need it right now, moon. but... We can maybe go tier three on that since it's a more uh, low level. I might also just want to look for like, um... ooh, I actually need that. How do I lock? Let's lock. Siren's cool. She's going to be strong at tier two, I think. Uh, I might swap in a different hunter. I don't want to lose the undead bonus though, huh? So maybe I can't swap in another hunter. Maybe I have to keep her for undead. Yeah, what is this? This is dwarf. Could grab this guy to get dwarf bonus. What does that do? Increases attack range by two grids and they target the lowest thing. That seems cool. This looks awesome. I don't know what that is, but I'm taking it. Looks really cool. I got a lucky coin as well. Cool. Oh, I didn't mean to buy that. Oh, uh, whoopsie. Oh, I didn't mean to do that either. Oh, shoot. Oh, man. Why does this guy have so much stuff? I meant to give this all to her. Oh, the game did it for me. Oh, I didn't want that. Who else has items? Whoops. I might have boo-booed this a little. Um, well, I didn't get to take much of a round here. <laughs> I accidentally hit the distribute button and distributed a bunch of stuff. Uh, that I didn't mean to. Uh, let's go ahead and combine this, I guess. Again, I'm sure these aren't the best combining options, but... Uh... Oh, this one's the one that silences the owner. I don't think I want to do that right. I think... Does this, does this effect get silenced? Yeah, I'm sure it does. That seems really bad. Gotta be careful with that. What does the strange egg do? I think it might I just combine inevitable. into whatever you want it to combine into if, I, if I'm thinking about the right thing. Prince Charming. Um, Rain, hellfire. That was a good upgrade. Yeah, how does this get used, I wonder? Also, I don't need this guy. I accidentally bought him. What oh, okay, cool. I just, yeah, I used him to upgrade death. that to tier two. Okay, so weirdly enough, we got a lot stronger. <sighs> uh, didn't exactly go to plan. Let's go ahead and put this on the Avenge Knight as well. She's just hard carrying so unbelievably much. I like zooming in a little bit here. Um, oh man, we're actually not that strong compared to this person. This is Don Bilbo. Well, I guess we're still up three units, but that felt closer than other ones have, I have to say. I thought I put this on her. Guess not. So she now has a bunch of fully upgraded items. Uh, do I have anything else that's unequipped? Oh, I just have a lot of these. Oh man. It is so much gold. Dragon Knight number two. I'm sure I'm missing options here that are gonna upgrade my team. I'm just not spotting them. Isn't that a triple? Oh, I froze, but I forgot to buy her. Bailed out anyway. Bailed out anyway. Awesome. I remember freezing her, but I didn't end up buying her, I guess. Okay. So we're down to the final few people, guys. We're. This is the current second weakest person in the lobby, but they're holding up pretty well. I need to get some damage out. Oh, this is mage build, it looks like. Yeah, actually, we're. We're totally fine. Who am I kidding? Another light blade night. I have so I much gold. I mean, there's no way we're going to tier three on Siren, right? So I don't think spending that gold makes much sense. Evil Knight again, maybe? What's already dead. I feel like we're running out of upgrade options. Maybe I should just start tearing up to make sure I'm knocking people out of the game right now. Okay, I mean, we're, I feel like our comp's really strong. I don't know if this is considered a final tier comp sort of thing or not, but I sure feel strong. Avenge Knight just farming, dude. 
This was a great pivot decision we made. Turns out, anyway. Who knows if it was strategically sound, but it worked out. <laughs> it really worked out nicely. Okay. I mean, this this is actually something that could go to tier three. Oh, that's a nice upgrade. Big time upgrade. Dragon Knight historically has been really strong in this. So. Light Blade Knight again. Okay. Cool. Let's use some XP. I don't know if it matters when I use this, but why not use it now? Uh, let's go ahead and put this on. Oh, that's not Dragonite. He's red now. Shoot. Uh, let's put this on Dragonite because he's stronger. Let's put him here. I think he's more likely to get uh, his ability to activate. His ability is always really strong, I think. So she's close to tier 3 now. The Light Blade Knight. Oh, this is just an AI round. Perfect. Okay. Farm me some items. We are melting these dudes. There's only four people left other than us. 100% mana restoration on hit. That sounds great for Dragon Knight. Actually, Avenge Knight again. Oh my god, imagine I'm if I... Chop you up oh, my bench is full. Um, dinner. What does this do? Ooh, combinable. Let's do that. I actually want to give that to... Oh, did I silence her accidentally? Oh, no. Oh, I don't want that on him either. I want that on this one. I hope I didn't accidentally silence Avenge Knight previously. I don't know how that works, but that might have been a mistake. Whoopsie. Somebody out there is having a stroke right now. <laughs> what are you doing? Stop it, Regis. Get that off of her. I'm going to sell this. I don't care about tier three here. The holy light will shine and show the way. Get that off of her, Regis. What are you doing? So this I went going to Dragon Knight. The lucky coin, I don't know yet. Oh my gosh, I'm being overwhelmed. There's so many things happening. I think I'm doing pretty good though, despite that, honestly. Another frost knight, we don't care about that. Helicopter, is that the other dwarf? Yeah, actually, I could take that for when we uh, tear up. Um, I'm gonna freeze there and I'm gonna tear up. Just get this other dwarf in, basically. Uh. What was I going to do with items? Yeah, I don't know where these go, so I'm just going to put them all in the Dragon Knight. Because I think he's probably my next best unit after the Avenged Knight, right? Okay, so this is uh, one of three people remaining. We're down to the final two other people than us. That's cool. Man, we are just melting that back. Th th these guys will not die. My bomb there from my uh, helicopter guy did not go well. Oh, I just won! I guess the other person died to a ghost, maybe, and I just took the victory! Let's go! Yes! Wow! That was, like, perfect. We lost a couple rounds early, but the, uh, after that, absolutely zero defeats. Unbelievable. Kind of perfect. Man. So I was already pawn seven. I guess, uh, I don't know where exactly I went there, but hey, I'll take it. Man, that was awesome, guys. What a cool game, dude. It turns out maybe I should be in the game after all. So, uh, what, <laughs> what an excellent game to commit to uh, to video. That was really, really fun. Uh, I, I really like the, the gameplay experience of Auto Chess, so I'm probably going to be playing this one in my downtime a fair bit. And again, if you if you didn't hear earlier, guys, this is totally free to play. You just go to the Epic Games Store, you download it. There's a link in the description and in the pinned comment down there. Check it out. It's a lot of fun. Uh, you know, if it seemed overwhelming, if there was a lot to learn, it, it can be at first, but I promise you'll get into it really quickly and feel like you're in the swing of things no matter what. At some level, you know, it's just kind of matching up the icons and, and going from there and advancing and learning as you go. You'll just master everything. And I'm not even certainly close to that level just yet. So, uh, that said, thanks, as, as always, for hanging out with us today. Check out those links down below. Thanks to Epic Games for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. And until next time, game on.